see when there is a battle going on or a war going on and uh, one need to attack targets and destroy targets far away without uh, sending our own pilots or the people uh, deep into the enemy territory the best choice is missiles and when it comes to missiles now there are the people are having uh, air defense systems which can intercept the missiles so we need to make missiles which are hard to detect and here comes in picture the supersonic and the ballistic cruise missile first of all why this cruise missile is different from the rest of the ballistic missile in the ballistic missile that project in a ballistic trajectory the missile is fired with the help of rocket solid rocket motors it travels certain distance up into the sky like we see the rockets in the diwali uh, rocket going up into the sky and then they, fo they follow the a typical ballistic trajectory they start falling back because of the gravity of the earth following a parabolic trajectory so the problem here is that these missiles are very difficult to maneuver in their terminal phase number 1 number 2 these missiles are detected because they go close to the space or enter the space and therefore the ground based radars are able to detect them when there is still time to react and they can some the the, the the ballistic missile defense uh, systems can be used against them to intercept them but in case of a cruise missile we can the engines of the missile are on all the time the implication is that these missiles are highly maneuverable so just by first of all at such high speeds it becomes difficult to detect so higher is the speed more difficult it is to detect and when it is not flying very high in the sky detection become all the more all the more important all the more difficult and especially with the ground based radar even if somebody is able to detect them with the radar based the space based or airborne radar system the problem is how to intercept them higher is the speed difficulty the interception you need something to uh, something which is flying at a higher speed if i have to catch somebody i have to run faster than the person the same is true here also if, if somebody has to destroy the incoming cruise missile one must have uh, anti missile system anti missile missile which can fly faster than the my, than my missile and when we talk of cruise missile hypersonic cruise missiles flying at 8 max speed just consider the magnitude of this speed the sound travels in air at around 343 meters per second so a cruise missile flying at 8 max is traveling almost 2.7 kilometers in just one second so having a uh, anti ballistic missile defense system it has to be flying that means it they, the enemy also has to have a similar or a high or a better hypersonic missile which can intercept and destroy very very difficult extremely difficult task so that's why these uh, hypersonic cruise missiles once in the in our arsenal this will be invincible and is going to hit the target in any way how crucial it is for the country like india to possess a hypersonic missile in the recent operations do we have seen the the importance of reaching distant targets deep inside the enemy territory with high precision and destroying the targets without sending our own pilots into so there this missile is very crucial for that particular to meet the thing india has is not only a large country and having a long history of facing having to face wars in regions we have on our and even right now we have uh, a, a very difficult to handle enemy on both our western borders as well as northern borders the distances involved are pretty large so therefore it is extremely crucial to have a 
in-depth reach into the enemy territories. We are a peaceful nation. We don't want to fight. We don't want wars. But absolutely well known is the fact that only strong ones can remain peaceful. Only the strong ones can afford peace. And that's why this hypersonic cruise missile is going to be very, very important for us to remain peaceful, to us to ensure peace to our citizens and their security and safety and keep focusing on development. So for India's progress, this missile is going to be a very, very important one in our arsenal. According to the media reports, it is said that it is likely to be carrying, to be able to carry approximately two tons of payload and a range of more than 1,500 kilometers. So at that range, this is a very, very tremendous reach at flying at such a high velocity. So uh, we must have this missile as soon as possible in our arsenal. What is this hypersonic cruise missile, a long duration hypersonic cruise missile? The, what this has been called, labeled as, uh, in the media as uh, Project Vishnu or the missile Vishnu. The, in order to have a sustained flight at hypersonic velocities, it is essential to have a scramjet engine because there we try to reach a speed a velocity beyond about four to five Mach. The ramjet engine is not sufficient to sustain that speed. In a scramjet engine, the gases which are combusting, which are burning inside the engine, they are also moving at around a fairly high supersonic velocity. And under those conditions, Keeping the flame, igniting a flame, the fuel has to be ignited with the help of the oxygen which is around in the atmosphere. So, it is like, you know, holding a, a dia or a candle in a hurricane, in a, in, a, in a storm where the wind is flowing at a very, very high, higher than the any known hurricane so far. So it's a very, very technologically complex challenge. Then there are challenges of special materials because the temperatures inside the compressor, the temperatures on the leading edges of the missile and some other parts of the missile and the, uh, the scramjet engine, they are going to be extremely high, extremely high. And very few materials can withstand that such high temperatures and high velocities. The combination of velocity and high temperature poses further challenges because the erosion of the material becomes very fast. So not only special materials are required, one needs to cool them also. And that's where the challenge has been has met successfully by our DRDO scientists. They have devised, they have designed a system, devised the materials in such a manner that the fuel itself becomes a coolant. And so after a very complex uh, design issue, which has been solved now, uh, we can sustain it. If you remember, in January this year, we announced that we have had a 120 second camjet combustion possibly. And then later on in April, we could sustain a combustion in a scramjet engine for more than 1,000 seconds. For the first time, I think it has been achieved in any, anywhere in the world. And in many cases, November last year, we had had a successful flight of a similar missile for certain duration. And where the, we proved that, yes, the scramjet engine is ready. And it can be integrated within the time. So now, very soon, we shall be having another successful test where the complete, the long duration scramjet engine along with the missile 
will be tested along with all other uh, other instrumentations and the control systems and i'm sure it is going to be a success it will very very significantly boost our country's defense capabilities especially when offense becomes the best form of defense which we have recently seen in operations in doom 